Rick and his father Dick Hoyt told their story at Elmwood School. The father and son are well known for competing in the Boston Marathon in addition to other marathons, triathlons, and athletic competitions. At birth, Rick Hoyt was born a spastic quadriplegic with cerebral palsy, but that has not stopped the father and son from competing in over 1,000 athletic events, and they are a prime example showing that anything is possible. This year, they brought their message to Elmwood School of yes, you can. Team Hoyt is a father and son team, and uh, I'm the dad, and Rick, my son, when he was born, the doctor said, forget him, put him away, put him in an institution, he's going to be nothing but a vegetable for the rest of his life. Well, today, Rick is 53 years old. He's graduated from public high school, graduated from Boston University, lives all by himself in his own apartment, and Rick and I have competed in over 1,100 after-like events in the past 35 years. You know, and we're still trying to figure out what kind of vegetable Rick is. <laughs> Uh, are, are you guys going to be competing in any more events coming up? Yes, we are. Um, last year we made an announcement that Rick and I will not be doing any more Ironman triathlons or full marathons. I'm 75 years old and my body's starting to tell me to slow down, but Rick and I will be doing Olympic-sized triathlons and 10-mile races and 5 miles and 10Ks, the shorter distance type of races, and we're hoping to be able to do 20 races this summer. And can you tell us about the, the message you look to convey doing these presentations? Okay, our message is yes, you can. There isn't anything you can't do as long as you make up your mind to do it. And there's no such word as can't in the Hoyt vocabulary. Why to do the World's Championship Ironman Triathlon out in Kona, Hawaii? They also turned us down. They said, Dick, you're a good athlete. You can compete, but your disabled son has to sit in the sidelines and watch you. And I said, no, we don't do things that way. So we were able to negotiate with them. And Rick is the first disabled person in the world, and still is, to ever compete and complete the Ironman triathlon. And because of his efforts, they now have a physically challenged division out there. Now, you guys participated in the Boston Marathon last year. Could you tell us uh, how that went? Well, it was just unbelievable because it was the last marathon that Rick and I will be doing together. Rick will still be competing in the Boston Marathons, but he's got somebody else that will be pushing him. And he's a real heck of a guy. He's a local dentist from Bill Ricker, Mass. And he's competed in two Ironmans and 14 uh, marathons. And he's just a great human being. And so we're really looking forward because Rick says if it comes down to one race a year, he wants it to be the Boston Marathon. And Hoppington is our favorite place. It's just like we've been adopted by the people in Hoppington. As you can see at the starting line is that bronze statue that was unveiled in the year 2013. It's just unbelievable. And we really love being here today with the schools. Now, Team Hoyt, they, it's grown throughout the years. A lot more people are participating uh, with Team Hoyt. And, and it, it, it just seems to be spreading like wildfire. Uh, especially throughout the Boston Marathon. Can you just talk about the growth of Team Hoyt? Yeah, it's unbelievable because when, you know, when Rick was born, they didn't want us going into restaurants. People would get up and leave. They didn't want him going to school. They didn't want us competing in the Boston Marathon or road races. And now we're wanted all over the world. It's just amazing how big our story is spreading. And all these other countries emailing us and all that. Matter of fact, Father's Day is coming up. We're going to be down. New Bedford, Rick's going to be running at a half marathon with Brian. And we're going to go live over to Italy because it's Father's Day over there and do it. Um, an interview with them and then it's it's just amazing you know we've been to Canada we've been to Japan we've been to China we've been to Germany we've been to El Salvador we've just been all over the place and now we've started Team Hoyt Virginia Beach Team Hoyt San Diego Team Hoyt New England Team Hoyt Canada and actually they want us to go over to Japan and start a Team Hoyt over in Japan it's just amazing what's happening and what's going on well, I'm sure Team Hoyt uh, will continue to grow. Thanks so much. Well, thank you. It will continue to grow, and I think it's going to get bigger and bigger. And I think one of these days you're going to see a Team Hoyt in almost every state.